Hi guys, it's Fen Tony. In this Game of Thrones Season 8 video, I'm going to be talking about the Valyrian Steel Dagger that is owned by Arya Stark and why I think it might be very important. The Valyrian Steel Dagger, or what many people call it, the Cat's Paw Dagger. The dagger is not actually called Cat's Paw. The Cat's Paw was the word used to describe the assassin that was hired to kill Bran. The dagger is made from Valyrian steel and it has a dragon bone hilt and it seems like there's a ruby placed inside the hilt. But this might not actually be a ruby. It might in fact be a piece of red dragon glass. As in the books, dragon glass has been described in many different colours and red is one of them. The dagger was a massive part of the first season as the mystery who hired the assassin ultimately led to the War of the Five Kings. After the attempt on Bran's life failed, the dagger was taken to King's Landing by Catelyn Stark who showed it to Varys and Littlefinger. For once Varys didn't know the answer, but Littlefinger claimed the dagger belonged to him but he lost it in a bet to Tyrion Lannister. Ned Stark kept the blade and it was seen with him a few times, but it would not be until season 7 that the dagger appeared again. The dagger made its return in the first episode of season 7 in a book about the long night which Sam read at the Citadel. The actor who plays Sam was told to linger on the page before turning it over. This was written into the story for a reason. The show wanted us to see the dagger. They wanted us to make the connection. There's also a passage that goes with the picture of the dagger, which goes into details about the Valyrians using dragonglass to decorate their weapons. The Valyrians were familiar with dragonglass long before they came to Westeros, which translated to frozen fire in Valyrian and Eastern Tales tells of how their dragons would fall the stone with dragon flame until it became molten and malleable. The Valyrians then used it to build their strange monuments and buildings without seams and joints of our modern castles. When Aegon the Conqueror forged his seven kingdoms, he and his descendants would often decorate their blades with dragonglass, feeling a kingship with the stone. The royal fashion for dragonglass ornamentation soon spread throughout the seven kingdoms to those wealthy enough to afford it. Hilts and pommels were and are the most common decoration for dragonglass, if too brittle to make a useful crossguard. Indeed, its very brittleness is what relegated it to the great houses and the most successful merchants. This passage explains that the Targaryens used to decorate their weapons with dragonglass and it appears next to a picture of a dagger with a dragon bone hilt and a red gem placed inside of it. Yes, I do think that's dragonglass and this dagger must be special. The dagger appears again in the fourth episode when Littlefinger gives it to Bran. Littlefinger was trying to worm his way back into Bran's good books by telling him how much he cared for Catelyn and he would do anything to protect her children. But Bran asks Littlefinger if he knew who the dagger belonged to and Littlefinger says he doesn't. Later in the episode, Bran gives the dagger to Arya as he claims he has no use for it as he's a cripple. There could be a reason behind this though. Perhaps Bran has saw something. He knows that Arya needs the dagger. Or basically it might just be, this is more useful for you. You're going to kill White Walkers with it. Arya Stark used the dagger in her spar against Brienne and in the season 7 finale, she cut Littlefinger's throat with it after he was sentenced to death by Sansa for treason. And it turns out the dagger actually belonged to him and he sent the assassin to kill Bran. Going into the final season, I believe the dagger will stay with Arya and because it's made from Valyrian steel, she will kill at least one White Walker with it. After the fourth episode in season 7 aired, I made a theory video where I said the dagger could have actually belonged to Rhaegar Targaryen. The dagger is featured in a book at the Citadel, so it must be well known and it was even numbered number 21. Perhaps this dagger is known to the maesters and once Samuel Tarly sees the blade, he will recognise it and bring this book back out. I think this could be when the name of the dagger is revealed or it might give Bran clues that he needs to go back in time and use his powers to learn the secret origin of the dagger. There's also theories the dagger is actually Dark Sister, one of the two Targaryen blades. Dark Sister belonged to Aegon's sister wife, Visenya Targaryen and Arya has actually mentioned her before in season 2. Dark Sister is meant to be a long sword in the books but this could easily be changed on the show and in the books Blood Raven or the Free-Eyed Raven on the show was the last known owner of the sword. But there's also another theory that states Mira Reed has Dark Sister and she picked it up in the Free-Eyed Raven's cave in season 6. This dagger could be Dark Sister and the name would fit Arya's character but I don't think that's going to happen. There's also another theory that states this dagger is what's left from Lightbringer, the legendary sword of Azor Ahai. In the books it's hinted that Rhaegar was obsessed with the prophecy of the prince that was promised. Perhaps Rhaegar came across this dagger in his studies and believed it was needed to create Lightbringer. Could this dagger be the key to defeating the Night King? I believe the Night King cannot be killed by Valyrian steel or dragonglass like other White Walkers can as he is the source of the magic and has dragonglass already placed into his heart. 
but this dagger might have the power to kill him. Maybe the dagger needs a blood ritual to unlock its true form, or its true power. This could be done with the blood of Daenerys Targaryen, or maybe Melisandre. The dagger seems special, but its story might have already ended with the death of Littlefinger. It might just become Arya's weapon, and nothing more. But I think it still has a role to play, and once Sam sees it, he'll remember the book, and then we're going to learn its name and purpose. It might be Dark Sister, it might have its own name, it might not have any name, and Arya will name it herself. It might never get a name, or it might become Lightbringer. So let me know what you think. What is the secret origin of the dagger? Can it kill the Night King, or is it required to forge a sword that can? So as always, please leave your thoughts in the comments below, as well as any theories and predictions you have, and any questions or video requests you have for me. If you want to stay up to date with all the breaking Game of Thrones news, see more theories and predictions like this one, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it if you guys could like and share this video as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.